Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So in today's video this is going to be a deck review. So I'm unboxing and doing a full flip through of the Vampire Diaries cards. So this was a custom made deck that I made for myself. So um, if you've been following my channel you will have seen that I have done a deck review before on the Vampire Diaries but it was more of like a oracle deck. So this time I've kind of remade it and I've just changed up the uh, deck to make it a full tarot deck this time and there's so much new imagery in this deck so let's get started with this review so this is the beautiful backs of the cards that I chose so as you can see we have the beautiful red rose and we have the crow bird so I wanted to use the bird because season one Damon um, compelled the crow to spy on people for him so he particularly used the crow for to spy on like Elena and um, it was basically seen as kind of a repetitive pattern in a particular episode so that is basically the story behind the back ends of the card and then I also have silver edges um, I just feel like the silver goes really beautiful with this deck. So I'm just so happy how this has actually turned out. Um, honestly, I'm just so happy with it. But I just want to give you a quick uh, kind of rundown of this deck because um, I did get a lot of messages regarding this deck when I first released it on my channel as an oracle slash tarot deck and it was called The Vampire Diaries on the front. And loads of people were messaging me saying that they want to buy it and will I be mass producing it. And uh, long story short is that it wasn't able to do this because obviously for copyright issues it's not particularly my imagery. So this deck will not be available to buy unfortunately. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to mass produce this deck and sell it uh for profit because for copyright issues i'm not sure if i have to get permission from i don't know the vampire diaries or people who made this imagery like the photographers artists i'm not sure so it's a bit complicated so i'm not sure if that's possible um obviously if it is in the future this is something i will look into to so i can um sell these decks to you but i just wanted to get that out of the way just before people start messaging me asking to buy it there is only one version of this this is just my version um, and if you're unfamiliar with the Vampire Diaries show then um, that's why I've made this deck more like just a vampire deck because um, it had Vampire Diaries written before but I just feel like this just looks so much better so yeah it can be used seen as the Vampire Diaries show or it can just be seen as a vampire deck because I don't have an iconic vampire tarot deck and now I do so this is obviously my vampire deck Okay, so now I've sort of mentioned all of the copyright stuff, I'm going to get straight into showing you all the cards. So we have the fall, so we have Welcome to Mystic Falls, Virginia. So I thought this would be perfect because this is basically the introductory to the deck. You know, this is the place, the scene of Vampire Diaries, so it makes sense that the fall's journey would start here. So that's basically the story behind that card. So I'm kind of just going to give you a little rundown of like why I've chosen some of the images. So we have the magician and this is obviously Bonnie because, you know, she is a witch. So she's the perfect card for the magician. We have the high priestess. So this is obviously, um, I've used Catherine because, you know, she's ancient. So the high priestess is super knowledgeable. Then we have the empress and this is um, Caroline. Obviously, um she became a mum she was able to carry Alaric's children so we have the empress for her and as you can see i've kind of tried to go with the traditional rider weight system in the imagery as close as i could so as you can see she's on a chair the same with the emperor he this is klaus and he is on his chair so as you can see the similarity to traditional tarot so we have the hierophant um, a very beautiful image. Um, I just sort of use the kind of candles to kind of represent that kind of um, churchy, traditional, you know, um, 
like the Hierophant symbolizes, you know, marriage and religion values, that kind of thing. So I just thought that one tied quite nicely. Um, the Lovers, I love this one. Honestly, beautiful. They had to be the lovers. So we have the chariot. So this, so these were images um, I got from when Catherine was around. Uh, so I can't remember the specific date of this. This was like the 1920s, 1940s, something like that. So obviously the chariot is the horse and carriage. We have strength. So you can see we have clouds on one side and we have the wolf on the other. The Hermit, so we have um, one of the double ganners here. I thought this is a Hermit because of the hood. I thought, you know, in the traditional Hermit card, you know, he has a hood. So that's basically why I chose this for the Hermit. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So um, we have the Wheel, which was seen in, I believe, season one, when um, Stefan and Elena had their, like, kiss um, up on one of these carriages so I thought you know it's just a perfect Wheel of Fortune card for that. So then we have Justice and I have Matt for Justice because obviously he is um, in the justice system, he's a policeman and I try to kind of use quite you know as you can see we have quite sexy imagery in this deck so that's the kind of I wanted like a sexy vampire deck so yeah so he is Justice we have the Hanged Man and we have Damon. So the cardstock is matte by the way and it's really good cardstock. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, he's kind of being hand at the neck. So this card is my favourite. This is the Death card. And as you can see, we have Elena Gilbert on the grave uh, with the necklace. As you can see this here. And a hand, like a hand coming out of here. I mean, this... I just love this. Honestly, it's one of my favourite cards in this deck. Next we have Temperance. So you can see the similarity here. Is these angel wings, obviously Temperance. Has angel wings in traditional tarot. So beautiful image looking up at the sky. Next we have the devil. So super, you know, easy to read. As you can see, she has devil horn here. But then she's like half devil, half angel. So I really did like the two-sided effect on that one. So next we have the Tower card, which is obviously the Mystic Falls Tower. So obviously if you've watched the show, you will know what that tower is. Next we have the Star. So, so I thought, you know, he's looking up at the sky, so there could be like a star in the sky. I just thought it's like a beautiful image of Tab as the star. Then we have the moon, so as you can see we have the moon in the back, and yeah, I just think that this is a beautiful vampire image. Next we have the sun, so the sun card as you can see I have Elena and Stefan. So I chose this image because they are looking up at the sunrise, so I just thought it was the perfect card. To capture that moment of you know sitting on the rooftop looking up at the sun. So next we have judgment. So I've got Damon as um, judgment. You know he's judged a lot in the show from his actions. So yeah, that's basically the background behind that card. Then we have the world. So there's just like this completion cycle. Yeah, I just feel like this just looks like the world to me. So moving on to the suit. So those were the major arcanas. So now we're going on to the suit of cups. So we have the ace of cups. So I just thought it would be good to use a cup of blood as the ace. Then we have the two of cups. So obviously I used Damon and Elena for this image. Next we have the Three of Cups, and uh, obviously the Three of Cups is about, can be about kind of pregnancy celebrations, and we have three people here, so I thought this would be the perfect image for the Three of Cups. 
Next we have the Four of Cups. So I chose this image because in traditional tarot it's like, you know, you can't see something. Something is hidden behind you and she can't see that he's literally standing right behind her um, in this mirror. So that's the message behind that card. Then we have the Five of Cups, which is obviously traditionally kind of known of, of like grief and loss. So you can see we've got the coffin here and all of Elena's friends. So then we have the Six of Cups. So this is obviously about past memories resurfacing. So old memories, childhood. So this is a very old painting of Catherine. Then we have the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is all about um, choices. So as you can see, we just have multiple fruit all around here. So there's just like a lot of options that you could take um, from this imagery. So that's the similarity in that one. Then we have the Eight of Cups, which is traditionally about, you know, moving on from something, walking away. So you can see they're all going in the same direction. You're all being pulled. Um, to go and move so that's the meaning behind that one then we have the nine of cups so the nine of cups is traditionally about wishes uh coming true and kind of like you know the genie to tara so as you can see she has this book of like spells so it's like she's manifesting something um so i thought this would be the perfect card to of you know of representing you know that your dreams and wishes can actually come true so then we have the ten of cups so the ten of cups I wanted the rainbow in it because in traditional tarot the rainbow is always in the ten of cups so we have Stefan and Elena here having a moment and then the rainbow of this like aura colors going around here so yeah that is the reason behind the ten of cups Okay, so then we have the court cards. So the court cards, I stuck with the imagery of the vintage lace detail. Okay, I really love this. So for the page of cups, I have Hayley. And um, it's really hard to find this imagery of the lace with, you know, Hayley in. So I had to actually crop this one and make it. Uh, that's what I had to do with a lot of the imagery was to kind of edit the images. So yeah, she is the page of cups. Then we have the Knight of Cups and we have Lexi Branson. Um, I just feel like she was a really kind of iconic uh, character that didn't have a big part um, in the Vampire Diaries. But I really loved her so I wanted to use her in this deck. Um, so yeah we have Lexi. So then we have the Queen of Cups which is Caroline. And as you can see she's like holding a cup of blood. And then obviously we would have Stefan because he goes with Caroline. So he is the King of Cups. So moving on to the Pentacles, we have the Ace of Pentacles that Stefan um, gave to Elena to help protect her from being compelled by Damon and that. So I wanted to use this as the Pentacle because it does kind of look like a Pentacle. Then we have the Two of Pentacles, so, so we have Catherine and Elena. So the story behind the Pentacles is that there is two kind of options here, two different decisions. So we have the Three of Pentacles and this one is quite a very sexy sexual representation of the three of pentacles but I love this image especially where there is like a love triangle between these in the show I really wanted that kind of collaboration here so in the three of pentacles is about you know people coming together and helping each other out that kind of work kind of relationship so this would be very interesting in the reading I think because you could get different messages from it then we have the four of pentacles so we have Hayley with this adorable white puppy wolf so um I, this basically is a representation of holding something really close to you and not letting it go that was kind of the representation behind the four of pentacles in traditional tarot is just holding something really firmly and not letting it go 
So then we have the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles is about, you know, being pushed out, left in the cold. So she's basically outside um, in the street. And a lot of the times this character is pushed aside um, in relationships in her family. So she kind of represents the Five of Pentacles really well. Um, yeah, so that's that one. Then we have the Six of Pentacles. So I like the fact we have half... Um, you know his normal face and then we have his like vampire side so the message behind this one is basically you know the balance of opposites and you know picking and choosing whether you are being the good person or the more evil person or you know just being this give and take energy there so next we have the seven of pentacles so the sevens is all about working hard. So I wanted this imagery of, you know, all these books and, you know, it's almost going to tell a story when you see the next card. So we have this room full of books and items, you know, it looks like you're searching for something. And then when you get to the eight of pentacles, well, you found the book you were looking for. You know, the eight of pentacles is about um, your work being fulfilled. So as you can see, we have the spell book that was actually in vampire diaries so i wanted to use the spell book and you can see we have this key which i think is gonna read really well in um readings so then we have the nine of pentacles and i love this imagery it's so dark so this is elena she just looks beautiful so i chose this as a nine because she just looks really three like her hair is literally going everywhere it's waving it's flowing and it just gives this message of freedom you know embracing who you are and that kind of independent energy so then we have the ten of pentacles now the reason i chose this image so this image is actually this is the background uh to the originals show so if you've watched the vampire diaries you'll know they had a spin-off where the originals had their own show so they were the original vampires and Klaus had a baby girl with um, Hayley so this is his little girl Hope and this was the imagery of season one's first uh, season so I love this imagery because it's the 10 I thought well it's a completion you know we're moving on to a different time and that's why I wanted to use this because we have a child here as well so it kind of does represent the legacy that you know you are leaving behind and that's what the ten of pentacles is all about is your legacy your family so that's why i chose this image of hope and the originals first image so moving on to the court cards we have um the page of pentacles which is matt then we have the knight of pentacles which is tyler lockwood Then we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is Bonnie Bennett. So obviously she would represent the Earth. And then we have the King of Pentacles, which is Alaric um, Saltzman. So uh, those are the court cards for the Pentacles. So moving on to the Wands. So we have the Ace of Wands, which as you can see, there is a wand here, Wand of Fire. So that's why chose this image for the ace we have the two of wands which does kind of represent you know being carried to a new exciting journey looking into the future um, we have two people here which i like to signify the numerology um yeah so that's the two of wands it's all about this the red the passion and then we have the three of wands and you can see we have three in this card and this is basically again represent that energy of you know going out into nature traveling um being excited for things so then we have the four of wands so the four of wands can represent celebrations it can also represent marriage um in a lot of readings so we have the uh caroline who is actually getting married here she's getting married to stefan so i wanted to use her for the four of wands to represent that celebration energy then we have the five of wands so the five of wands is about challenges and it can like represent fights as well so as you can see we have jeremy here with his crossbow just you know he's he's ready he's ready to take them all on so then we have the six of wands so the six of wands is all about you know success and traditionally like looking down at some 
people so as you can see she's walking down these stairs so it's like her view is different to other people's she's actually in a higher view because she's walking down these stairs people are looking up to her you know I love the fact that this represents the six of wands because people were looking up at her at how amazingly beautiful she looked so that's why she's the six of wands to represent success so then we have the seven of wands and I just really love this image and I had to use it somewhere in this deck so I love the fact, you know, we have the fire to represent the wands of fire element and we also have this snake coming out here. So this is basically to kind of represent that, you know, you are standing up for your beliefs, you're fighting your corner. There's just a fighting energy here. As you can see, she's got a lot of drive in her eyes. Her eyes are seen red. And, you know, it's like this defense mechanism. The fact we have this snake that's ready to kind of bite. Um, it just really isn't giving that protective, defensive, um, that strong energy, you know? So the next we have is the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands uh, is, as you can see, we have Elena. And I think this is Stefan's hand. This is definitely Damon's because of his ring. Um, but this image is a representation of news coming in and things being kind of up in the air. So I thought, what would vampires do to send a message to someone, okay? And in the Vampire Diaries, you know, they probably would act with violence or, you know, some kind of hands-on activity where they are restraining someone, keeping someone captive. So I thought, you know, the Eight of Wands is, you know, she's basically this messenger and she can't speak. So it's like this perfect message that, you know, a vampire would use to send someone a message. So then we have the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is like this not budging energy and as you can see he's so not moving. He's like, I'm sat in this position, you're not going to get to this graveyard behind me. Like it's not happening. <laughs> so he's very stubborn so I thought, you know, it's just this perfect image of him not moving out the way and really being this really kind of protector. So then we have the Ten of Wands. So in traditional right away, it's all about carrying a burden and your burden is taking you to somewhere new and it's almost like you're carrying all these heavy sticks but there is somewhere where you can go to. There's like a little house just down the road and that's the representation here. We have the wooden house, you know, we have some at an axe here, we have um, a lot of different wood materials. We have Rebecca and, you know, she does look like she's worried, you know. You know, she does look like she is carrying a burden and the weight of the world on her shoulders. So it's like this energy of, you know, trying to find the right home. So that's the story behind the Ten of Wands is basically that kind of same energy as the Rider Waite. So then we have the court cards. So we have Jeremy Gilbert as the uh, Page of Wands. So as you can see, he's holding these kind of sticks. And then we have the Knight of Wands, um, which is Malachi Parker. You know, I feel like he represents a lot of fire elements um, to his personality. And he's a connector to Elena, so that's why he's in this suit. We have Elena here, which is the Queen of Wands. And then we have, obviously, the Kin of Wands would be Damon. So that's the suit of wands. So they represent the fire and passion of the tarot. So then we're moving on to the suit of um, swords. So we have the Ace of Swords. So we have um, Rebecca. As you can see, she has a sword in her hand here. So that's why we have this as the Ace of Swords. So then I have the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is all about making a decision. And you see she's got two, two different guys after her on each direction. So yeah, she needs to make that choice. We have the Three of Swords, which is obviously about heartbreak. So we have Elena with a heart that's literally been ripped out. So it's just the perfect card to represent the Three of Swords. Then we have the Four of Swords, which represents rest. So as you can see, they're just resting. You know, we have water here, we have flowers. Um, but yeah, they're just chilling, they're resting. So it just represents the Four of Swords. Then we have the Five of Swords, which does represent a battle that you're, you know, you're not going to walk away from. You know, you're going to fight until you, you know, you win. And that's the, why we have Enzo here with his big axe, because, you know, he is a fighter. So he is the Five of Swords. Then we have the Six of Swords. 
So it's all about, you know, moving away from something. And as you see, she's walking away. She looks very, very sexy in this picture. But, yeah, there's just that element of her walking away. And, you know, she's looking back, but she's still she's still moving on. She's walking away. So that's the Six of Swords. The Seven of Swords is, you know, about uh, running away from something. As you can see, he's running away. Again, looking back a bit. And it's like, you know, what is he running away from? Why is he so concerned? So this can represent kind of, you know, deceitfulness, betrayal. So that's the Seven of Swords. So the Eight of Swords, um, we have Stefan. As you can see, he's tied up. He can't move. He's been restrained. And that's what the Eight of Swords is. It's about the fact that you, you're stuck in a position, but, you know, you can get yourself out of this if you really try. You know, vampires are very strong, but I just love the fact this is the Eight of Swords because in right away it really does look like the Eight of Swords. Um, then we have the Nine of Swords. So for the Nine, um, as you can see, we have a bed here. Hopefully you can see this. Um, so I wanted an image that had a bed in, just like the Nine of Swords in traditional tarot. So this is going to represent the bad dreams, the nightmares. And, you know, we have Elena, Damon, Stefan. So it's just a very sexy image, but it is to represent, you know, people getting in your head, basically. So then we have the Ten of Swords. So for the Ten, I really wanted to represent the fact that, you know, you've hit rock bottom. Because in traditional right away, the Ten of Swords is about literally hitting rock bottom and struggling to get up from this so i wanted to get the grief and that emotion from this image so this is the moment when um bonnie's lover enzo dies he, his heart is literally ripped out in front of her so as you can see the pain you can see the pain in her face so i just thought this was like the perfect image for the ten of swords um so then we move it on to the court cards so we have uh cole Michelson as the page of swords so the swords uh, obviously are all about intellect and that's why we have the originals as this court cards. So for the Knight of Swords we have Elijah Michelson and then for the, oh sorry it's meant to be the Queen of Swords is Rebecca and as you can see she has her sword. And then lastly we have the Kin of Swords, which is obviously um, Niklaus Michelson. So we have the originals as the court cards for the swords. So this was the basically the reasoning behind all of the imagery in the deck. I didn't just choose, you know, pretty images. I wanted to make sure the images were representing the traditional right away system that I've learnt from. And you can see they shuffle really nicely. So I just want to get everyone uh, who watches this video a collective message from this deck to see what you need to know right now. So can we get a message for the collective? What does the collective need to hear right now? Who needs to hear this message? Okay, so we have, uh, okay, we have the Three of Swords, wow. So for some of you, you may be dealing with a difficult time, okay, you may need time for healing. You need, may need time to heal from a past relationship. Some of you could be going through heartbreak. But I feel like there is a message here to let you know that there is support around you. And I feel like you're going to be gathering new ideas and ways to kind of um, embrace this new journey you're going to go on, this new healing journey. So I do feel like your heart is going to be mended. So I'm so glad that this message came out for someone who needed to hear this. So I really hope you enjoyed this video of my deck, my Vampire Diaries deck. And uh, please let me know what you think of the cards. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, and don't forget to like the video. Uh, and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. Because I think I will be creating more decks. And I would love to actually, you know, sell my own decks. So we'll see what happens with that. But... But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this full flip through and in-depth tutorial. And you're going to be seeing these cards in a lot of my readings, okay, on my channel. So make sure you do hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. I really hope you enjoyed watching this deck review. And I'm sending you all so much love and light.